it is raining at Whistle Thicket. We've had a lot of rain lately. It's been hard to do some homesteading stuff. Chickens aren't enjoying the rain. Um, but I am going to talk about chicken predators today. We had a recent attack on our guineas, not chickens, but poultry. Um, and it came down to it. We didn't have the door secure. Um, and they got attacked by one of the predators on this list. And unfortunately, if you own chickens, eventually you are probably going to have a chicken predator. It just happens. Um, I don't know anyone that has kept chickens for more than a year or two that has not lost chicken to some sort of animal. Um, but I'm going to share with you the top... 12 predators for chickens now unfortunately anything that has a mouth is probably a chicken predator to tell you the truth that's not 100 percent true but lots of things eat chickens guineas um quails pheasants um they are surprisingly easy for predators to attack and eat unfortunately but let's go ahead and get down to business and we're going to share the top 12 chicken predators are you ready so i guess before we start the list what's really important is that it's up to you to look in your local area and learn the predators that are specific to your area talk to other chicken people they probably will tell you what predators are most prevalent in your area and it's important for you to know the laws of your state your area some of the animals i'm going to talk about may even be endangered. Um, it's definitely illegal to kill some of these animals, to trap them, and you need to figure that out. Um, and that's up to you. Um, in my personal opinion, if a predator gets into my coop, which they have in the past, um, it's really my fault for not securing my coop, and there's always something you can do better. Um, I live in the country now and I actually have less predators in the country than when I had kept chickens in the city. Um, so every area is going to have their own unique predators. At the end of this video, if you have a predator that's not on this list, leave something in the comments and tell me about the biggest predator you have in your area. So let's get down to the list. At number 12, the ring-tailed cat. That is an interesting looking animal, right? Now, the ring-tailed cat, some people may not have heard of. This is an animal more found in the Southwest, but it goes up into Southern Oregon, parts of Kansas, Oklahoma even. Um, but one of my subscribers told me about this as her biggest predator, the ring-tailed cat. So I have it as number 12 because it does not have as large of a habitat um, area as a lot of our other predators but it's definitely a predator in the southwest if you live in that area so if you have ring-tailed cats um, you need to watch out for your chickens at number 11 number 11 right here black bears that's right black bears will attack your chickens now this is not as common as a lot of these other predators if you have a bear story that has attacked your chickens, I would love to hear it. We have bears in the area. Um, I've seen bears near my coop in the city, actually. Not actually at my coop, but near my coop. Um, so black bears are a problem in some areas, and um, they are a large, large animal. So it may be hard to keep a black bear away from your chickens if they want to get your chickens. Um, at number 10, the coyote, that's right. There are coyotes everywhere. They're scavengers. They'll eat whatever they can get their hands on. They'll attack your chickens. Um, we again don't have a big coyote problem where I live, but where you live, that may be your main predator. So coyotes, you gotta think about coyotes if you got chickens. At number nine, and I hate to have this one in here, but it is. The common house cat. Now, unfortunately, some cats will get um, 
a hankering to attack chickens, especially city cats, I think. And they get kind of bored. They have nothing to do. We have four cats in the country here. They've never attacked our chickens or chicks. They have plenty of other things to chase. But sometimes you do get that, that house cat that loves to attack chickens. And unfortunately, if it's your neighbor's cat, that's a conversation you're going to have to have with your neighbor um, and figure out the best solution. It always sucks when it's a uh, neighbor's pet attacking your chickens or your chickens if your chickens are pets, right? Um, so we got the ring-tailed cat, the bear, the coyote, the cat at number eight. We have rats, that's right. Rats are chicken predators. Now, they're more of an egg predator and a chick predator, and they love to steal chicken food, especially if you live in the city, those big giant city rats. They love to take your chicken food. A lot of times to get rid of those rats, you gotta um, have a clean, very clean coop to take care of those rats. And rats love to burrow underneath the coop. They love to steal the food, they love to steal eggs, and you know, city rats are just nasty. At number seven, the hawk, the common hawk, the ring-tailed hawk, the chicken hawk. That's right, there's lots of hawks out there, but we're just calling them all hawk right now. Hawks can do some damage on your chickens. Um, it's hard to keep hawks away from your chickens, except by having a fully enclosed coop or enclosed run so that hawks cannot fly down and attack your chickens. Um, trees are also good to have because hawks like to see their predator or their prey from up above. So if you have a lot of tree cover, that will keep hawks from your chickens to a certain, um, I guess, degree. Um, but the main thing with hawks is you need a covered run so that they can't fly down and get your chickens. Um, hawks are a nasty predator when it comes to chickens. And of course, you know, hawks are protected. You can't really do anything about it. So uh, you got to deal with that one. At number six. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. We got the owl people. I'm just going to put owls all in general. Now, normally the, the uh, screech owl, which is not that big, is not going to attack chickens. Um, I put the owls at number six because owls are harder to, um, I guess, um, to keep away from your chickens, to, I guess, deter from attacking your chickens because they're night predators and we're sleeping usually at night. Um, I had a friend that lost her entire flock to an owl in two nights. It's just horrible. They swoop down, they take the chicken hole. You don't even see the chicken sometimes. Um, they are really hard to keep away from your chickens. If an owl finds your chickens, they're gonna keep coming back. They're gonna keep coming back. Um, again, it's not usually the screech owl. It's the larger owls, like great horned owls, barn owls, larger owls. Um, at number five, we have the black rat snake. And there's other snakes as well, but black rat snakes love, love, love to eat chicken eggs. We have a giant black rat snake in our barn. We actually don't care if she eats an egg or two. Um, they do eat chicks, and occasionally they will eat a smaller, full-grown chicken. Um, but, but we haven't had that problem. And for us, keeping the black rat snake it keeps our mice population down. We don't have any rats, we don't have any mice, we don't have any voles. Um, it keeps that population in check. So I'd rather have my black rat snake around and if it eats a, co a couple eggs, I don't really care. But you may have a different opinion. Um, okay, we are in the top four now. These are like the serious chicken predators that you really, really gotta watch out for. And most people probably have these in their area. At number four, the possum. Now, a lot of people uh, do not appreciate the possum. They are pretty nasty looking. Um, they are the only marsupial in America. Pretty cool. Um, they actually eat a lot of ticks. 
So without possums, we would have a lot more ticks. So uh, we do have to thank the possum for that. But they are pretty nasty looking. Um, and they love getting in your coop. They love to get little chicks. Uh, they have very, uh, I guess, nimble little hands. Um, they love chicks. They love eggs. Um, it's less likely for them to attack a full-grown chicken, but they love chicks and eggs. Now, number three. Top three, top three, top three. That's right, it's the fox. There are tons and tons and tons of stories about foxes and chickens. Um, foxes are a problem. We've only seen foxes on, on, on our property once. I don't think they've ever attacked our chickens, which is great. But you may live in a place where foxes are a serious problem. Um, like I know in England has a lot of foxes, right? Um, so foxes you gotta watch out for. Now we come down to the final two. The second one, most people may not agree with me on this, but this is the family dog. Number two, the dog. Dogs are notorious for attacking chickens. Again, we have three dogs and our dogs have never hurt our chickens, which is great. They actually protect our chickens. They chase away predators. They chase anything that moves, actually. They leave butterflies, deer. It doesn't matter. If it's moving, our dogs are chasing them. They chase airplanes, helicopters. So dogs can actually really help your flock if they know your flock and they're trained not to hurt your flock. But neighbor's dogs, unfortunately, or stray dogs. Um, dogs like to just kill chickens for fun unfortunately they don't even eat them sometimes so if you have a problem with a neighbor's dog uh, that is a tough thing to deal with um, and hopefully you can talk to your neighbor and figure something out a neighbor's dog should not be on your property I know dogs get out um, and hopefully it's not your own dog either that's really tough too now number one the biggest chicken predator The raccoon. Sometimes raccoons look pretty cute, but if you see a mad raccoon, like a vicious raccoon, they can be scary looking. Now, raccoons are notorious. They'll come in with their whole family. They have that opposable thumb. They're able to open locks. They're able to climb up. They're able to reach your hands through and pull wings off through chicken wire. That's why you really shouldn't have chicken wire. Chicken wire, in my opinion, is pointless. You need that welded wire to protect your chickens. Now that's my list. If you have a chicken predator that I did not mention, or if you think my list is wrong, my order is wrong, if you think something should be at the top besides the raccoon, I would love to hear it. So please tell me your chicken stories. Um, if you like your channel, please subscribe, share, like, all that stuff you're supposed to do on YouTube. And uh, keep on homesteading. And uh, there are, you know, tough things about keeping chickens. But in the end, the homestead life is the life you choose. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying it.